What's going on guys, it's an extremely exciting day today because the new Bamboo Lab A1 Mini 4 color 180 by 180 3D printer has just been released. It's right here. showing you exactly what you can fit on that 180 by 180 by 180 build volume and the price is pretty staggering. Let's get straight on into this one. You are watching a master at work. So at long last, we can openly discuss the latest innovation from Bamboo Lab. During a serendipitous encounter with the Bamboo Lab team last month, I had the privilege of getting first-hand glimpses at the brand new A1 Mini 3D printer. And over the past couple of weeks, it's been an absolute pleasure working with this remarkable printer that has consistently exceeded my expectations, even when operating beta firmware. So let's talk about the specs and what makes this printer different from other printers that are on the market. Right from the start, we're presented with four color capacity, courtesy of the AMS Lite. Now this feature is not compatible with older Bamboo Lab printers, but it's undeniably distinctive in its appearance and brimming with functionality. Notably, it boasts RFID readers for filament synchronization, although currently it's limited to bamboo filaments only, although it does ensure seamless optimization with your print profiles. The AMS light supports spools of a width of 40 to 68 millimeters and an inner diameter of 53 to 58. As before with the X1 Carbon and P1P AMS, it's advised to avoid using TPU, TPE and PVA. There's also some advisements around brittle and third party fiber reinforced materials like carbon fiber and to use these materials on a single external spool when printing. So what about the printer and the build size? The printer's overall dimensions are marginally larger than an A4 sheet of paper, making it an excellent choice if space is a concern. However, when considering the AMS, it will occupy slightly more space than an Ender 3. The choice largely depends on your specific application and whether or not you opt to purchase the AMS at all. It's worth noting that for the initial batch of 3D printers, only the A1 Mini Combo will be included in the first couple of shipments. Pre-orders are now open and these printers are expected to reach warehouses around mid-October. Bamboo have indicated that there will be at least two rounds of pre-orders before they can fulfill regular orders and the estimated delivery time will be displayed on the website when placing your order. That beeping is actually generated from the stepper motors and not from a speaker. Interestingly enough, you might be able to customize that in the future, but for now, if it annoys you, you can just switch it off. The printer's design excuse a clinical aesthetic, setting it apart from the P1P and the X1 Carbon, offering a distinctive experience. Furthermore, the A1 Mini provides added value by arriving fully assembled, pre-tuned and pre-squared. If you prefer printing over building printers, well, the A1 Mini is certainly an ideal choice. Another noteworthy advantage is fully included automatic calibration, active flow rate compensation and active motor noise cancellation. With its compact 180 square build, this machine provides itself with a formidable contender amongst the current small scale printers. So in all honesty, the A1 Mini isn't the printer that I'd hoped that would be coming first. And I know many of you wanted to see the rumored bigger free printer. However, it is worth noting that the commercial decisions made by Bamboo aren't taken lightly, and in my meeting with them, they are sticking to their roadmap and delivering on their five commitments. Although maybe rethinking the first point around bed slingers. <clears throat> While it could be viewed that there's a sense of irony there, the A1 Mini as a standalone item comes in at $299, where the AMS Lite comes in at $249. The combination of the two comes in at $459 or £409. So that's where their commitment to full color affordable printing comes into play. Bamboo Lab have also told me that if you order one of the combination kits, you will receive one of four mystery boxes. My mystery boxes were the mouse and also this light. Now I'm yet to build the mouse, but the light, that's pretty cool. Fully 3D printed and all the electronics come inside of that box. And while I'm on the topic of adding extras, I want to thank our sponsor today, PCBWay.com. I'm Elaine at PCBWay.com and you are watching your master at work. Well, thank you, Elaine. I guess that statement could be contested, but once again, PCBWay have sponsored this video, which allows me to keep making content for you, the good people. And as you might know, I was recently in Shenzhen and had the pleasure of touring the PCBWay factory. Elaine and Zoe were amazing hosts, but what really surprised me was the huge undertaking that PCBWay take to produce quality PCB items for you. I suggest checking out their website once you've watched this video and make your ideas come to life with PCBWay your one-stop solution for PCB manufacturing and assembly. Suddenly there was a noise and the prints have finished. Let's get on to this one. So I have been printing non-stop with this printer since it arrived and I printed things like this print by 3D Print Bunny and the cow inside of this I then blew up. Check out these models.
So a lot of the prints that I've printed here are actually going to be coming from the Maker World app that's going to be available later on in the year. But let's talk a little bit more about the printer. The A1 Mini printer is equipped with two genius calibration features, active motor noise cancellation and vibration compensation. These calibration processes typically take around 12 minutes to finalize. They provide detailed insights into variations between the X and Y motors to optimize the active parameter for the noise calibration algorithm. During the calibration procedure, the printer engages both X and Y axis in multiple back and forth movements. Its system Systematically accesses a range of speed starting at 50 mm per second and incrementally increasing by 50 until it reaches 300 mm per second. The results of these assessments are visually represented through graphs displayed on the machine's interface. Notably, in some of these speed tests, the effects of the noise cancellation becomes remarkably evident. The top printing speed, of course, on the A1 Mini is 500 mm per second and, well, it does fly. These features are also rumored to be included in the future releases of the Bamboo Lab product line and it may serve as a useful update for current models. Regarding vibration compensation, it serves the purpose of assessing the printer's mechanical resonance model. By doing so, it effectively mitigates artifacts stemming from the acceleration, therefore enabling faster printing speeds while upholding the overall print quality. This is measured in hertz, and once again the display gives you the key information but works out the best numbers in order for your printer to deliver the best quality of prints. The hot end on the A1 Mini features an integrated eddy current sensor, which measures the extrusion pressure for stable printing. This sensor adjusts the extrusion flow rate ensuring constant print quality. Eddy currents are commonly used in testing and control applications, making their use in this context fascinating. Additionally, the A1 Mini boasts a quick hot end design that allows easy removal with just a single clip. This swift hot end replacement process takes less than 30 seconds and doesn't involve handling any electronic connectors. As you may have noticed, this printer does come with a camera attached for visual printing checks via your phone using the Bamboo Handy app or your desktop by logging in. You do have the choice of using this vanity guard if you wish to also. This little cap was removable, so I thought I'd have a look inside and basically you just get access to your camera and also the motor. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a bamboo product without the poop shoe. And the bamboo in this case is ejected in actually a very special way. Check this out. Now, if you've got no idea about what I'm talking about, the printer poop shoot came around on the X1 Carbon and P1P series 3D printers, where the nozzle purges excess filament during a color change or material change. On previous models, it's exited via the community named Poop Shoot. However, the A1 Mini has a wipe and flick movement that attaches to the end of the printer's X axis. When the extruder moves to the far left, it engages a switch that moves a metal slider to the right, and the nozzle drops down, extrudes the filament before being fired off to the left hand side. This does, of course, open up one obvious problem as to where the filament waste goes, and for the most part, well, it's going to end up on the floor. But of course, as Bamboo likes you to keep hold of their box, I've made good use of this over the past two weeks with some of the prints, for instance, the orange truck, with a colour change of over a thousand times. So, what are my final thoughts on the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini? I can certainly say for sure that my first and ongoing impressions of this company has been impressive. And after meeting the team and CEO, the vision and the direction that they're looking to take is truly inspiring. If you want a 3D printer that just prints right out of the box, this is perhaps the best value feature pack product for the money. Again, we're talking $299 out of the box and you're printing relatively quickly. This is an exciting product inside the small build volume printers and I believe that it will encourage more people into the hobby. Furthermore, at this price point, it lends itself positively to the education markets. This is important as inspiring design and concept around STEM is really key right now. As I said before regarding the mystery gifts inside of the combo boxes, these are a nod to that system and it's something that I personally would like to see more of. So the only thing that I did find that was a slight issue was around the time lapses. The time lapses seem to kind of mould and wobble and I believe that's going to be down to a firmware fix which I believe they're working on now. So finally then, what are your alternatives? When looking at alternative printers in the market, which are either entry level or budget, they tend to either be kits or using older technologies. While price is important, I feel that the ongoing technology flexibility and support is going to be an aspect that will be difficult to match. While I have enjoyed building printers in the past, it does mean that when something goes wrong, I have the choice to either live with it or fix it. On a pre-assembled printer, you don't really have that luxury. It's a luxury depending on your care capacity. So a few alternative printers uh, that I've brought up here. First and foremost, we have the Ratrig V Minion, which is a 180 kit printer, which is 600 euros. The Prusa Mini, which has basically similar specs with the PEI and runout center, comes in at 450 pounds, which is still pretty much a partial kit. The Crux comes in at 149 pounds with basic functionality. The King Rune KP3, which I have and is by far the cheapest, is 80 pounds. But then again, it doesn't really have any of the features of the A1. 
And finally, we've got the Ender 2 Pro, which is £120, which again is similar to the rest on here with limited function, void of things like the online camera, online printing, a filament runout sensor, and so on. So that's pretty much it guys. By the way, this is one of the swatches from the Bamboo Combo Kit. This basically details all the different colors and different filament types that are now available in the Bamboo Lab store. Now let me know what you think about this printer in the comments below. My affiliate link will also be down below as well. Like, subscribe, comment as always below. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I legitimately think that this printer is gonna cause quite a disturbance inside of the 3D printing market and I really hope it does. All for the better, all for the change. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Also, thank you to Bamboo Lab for supplying me this printer free of charge and also to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. I've been Sam Prentice. You've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. You are watching a master at work.